Hi, I'm Emily. I'm the lead 3D artist here at CSM, and I'm going to show you how you can use a custom rig and character in the Roblox Studio and get him to move. There's a couple things that you'll need to get started. First thing you'll need is this uh, add-on for Roblox. It's called Rig Edit Lite. Um, I'll link it in the description, and then you'll need to use our website uh, and generate an avatar. I have this robot avatar all ready to go. You want to make sure that the head is not attached to the shoulders, the arms are separated, and the legs are separated. And you're going to want to download it as an OBJ. Next, you're going to want to import it into Blender, and you're going to uh, set him up in the center, make sure he is even out on the scale and transformations and rotations, and make sure he is on even on the x-axis and on the y-axis. Um, and then you'll export him as an FBX, and then you'll take this into Mixamo. I do have a quick video that tells you how to take things from Blender to Mixamo, if you want to check that out for a more in-depth video. So now that we have our character in Mixamo, one thing that you'll need for today is running, and then you'll need an idle uh, animation. So I went ahead and found a running animation that I liked and an idle animation, and I downloaded both of them um, with the skins. Um, for the running animation, you're going to want to check keep in place. Um, this is so the character will not be moving weird whenever we do import the animation into Roblox. The next step is to open up Roblox Studio and open up a blank spot. Um, if you already have a map, work with that, but I'm just using an empty one. Um, you're going to hit import 3D and you're going to find that uh, Mixamo ring that you have um, and import him. There is nothing, no options to change here, but I do like to visually see my rig and my character, so I will click Rig Visualization just to make sure everything is looking okay. So the first thing you're going to do is check to see if you have these folders inside of your character. You can go ahead and get rid of them. We do not need them. I don't know if they will cause issues, but I don't want to chance it. So the next thing you'll do is make a cube and then you're going to size it to fit right above his shoulders and right above his waist. Make sure it fits his entirety of his chest um, just like this um, and that should be good. The next thing you want to do is rename this cube. I'm going to call it humanoid root part. It's important that you have it spelled correctly and everything, and the names are capitalized. You're going to do the same thing with the character player. You're going to name it Starter Character. Make sure it's also correctly spelled, um, and the S and the C are capitalized. Once you have everything named correctly, you're going to go back to the humanoid root part and you're going to change it to transparency to 1. Then you're going to drag and drop into your player character and then you're going to add the little plus mark up next to it and then you're going to hit humanoid. Inside the options of humanoid, you are going to scroll down until you find the hip part. You're going to set that to a random number, I like to guess sometimes, I'm just going to go ahead and say 12. And then I'm just going to speed up the walk because I already know it's going to be super slow, so I speed it up a little bit. Then I go and change the rig type to R15. I don't think it particularly matters, but I'm just going to change it just in case. So next I'm going to scroll down to the character scripts. I'm going to press the plus sign and then add a script. And inside the script you are going to paste the uh, code that I have in the description and you're just going to paste it and make sure you replace the number with your hip height. Your hip height can be messed around with later on, it doesn't have to be precise. Um, you'll see how it looks in a little bit. So now that we have this, you're going to press play 
and it's still going to be your original character. You're going to go down to workspace and then go to your original character, press the arrow down, and you will find the animate. You're going to right click and copy it, and then you're going to stop the game. Back into the editor, you are going to go down to the script area and you're going to paste this into where the script is as well. This is where all your animations will be and you can add all those animations as well later on. We'll talk about that in a second. Once that's done, you're going to go to the avatar tab. You're going to press animation editor and then you, you will see this timeline pop up. You're going to click your rig and just go ahead and create. Hit the three little dots and you are going to import your FBX animations that you got from Mixamo. I'm doing my idle first, so I'm going to click this idle. You're going to see it pop up. Um, you're going to make sure that it's playing correctly and that the looping button is on. It should be automatically. So you see him doing his little idle animation and we're going to hit the three dots again and we're going to publish to Roblox. I'm going to name my animation just so it's easier to find later on if I need it. And then I'm going to hit submit. You're going to get this little ID number, press the little copy button, and you can close. We're going to scroll down to the animate uh, tab and we're going to find idle. And it's going to have two options. You can do two different idols, but I'm just going to do the same. So I'm going to post, paste the ID number into these little boxes and then press enter. So the next one to do is going to be the running. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to import it, make sure the looping button is on. And then I'm going to also publish this to uh, the Roblox. Make sure this is on action two, or at least just not on the same exact action priority as the idle. Um, if it is, you can change that later on. So I am publishing it and I'm gonna press submit and then I'm gonna do the same thing as copying the ID number for this animation. You're gonna find the run animation. You're gonna paste this in and you also are going to paste it into the walk. The walk and the run have to be exactly the same or it's not going to work out. Um, you can see later on I figured this out, um, but make sure you post the running animation in both the walk and run uh, sections. The next thing you want to do is go to plugins. You're going to hit the rig uh, plugin and then you're going to select the root humanoid part first and then your mesh and then you're going to press create rig or joints. This is going to have a little, if you did it right, there will be a little drop down on your humanoid root part. Then you're going to go to your mesh, you're going to change the collision, you're going to uncheck all of those and then change this to precise. Um, if you don't change this, it's not going to work, so make sure you do this as soon as possible. Once that's done, you're going to then drag and drop your character under the main player character and you can test out your game. My character is through the floor and he only does the idle animation. This was a very quick, simple solve um, and I'll tell you how to solve this if you have any similar issues like this. Thing I notice is my character is huge, so I'm going to change the height and scale of him. This is going to affect the the hip height, so you're going to want to go back to your humanoid uh, 
options and change the hip height there and also in the script and you can keep going back and forth and doing this until the number seems to be okay whenever you test out the game you'll know it's okay when his feet are touching the floor instead of hovering above or below the floor the character above the ground and he looks like he's touching it to solve the not the animations not working um, especially the walk as you can see in the beginning I didn't add the animation to also the run or the walk so make sure you have both the run animation both the walk and the run and it should work after that As you can see the character he's moving around the animation is a little bit slow the running speed you can always change that if you go back to the humanoid and change the walk speed and speed it up just slightly but he she is touching the ground he goes to idle and he runs if your animations are still not working it might be the priority that's the issue go back to your animations you're gonna hit the three little dots under the uh, in the animation editor and then you're going to go down to the priority um, they should be on different priorities so idle could be on action and then the walk could be on action too um, or idle can be on idle and the walk or run can be on the action just make sure they're on two separate priorities so they're not overriding each other i hope this video helps um, and I will see you guys later. Bye!